Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com. We're going to take a look at the some of the software on this new BlackBerry Torch with uh, the BlackBerry 6 operating system. So here we go. Here we go. Right now, we have this big clock showing. That's our screensaver, I guess. So we get out of that and here's your home screen. You got your time, date, top, you know, the usual suspects, signal strength, battery life. Over here is the uh, speaker uh, for, you know, your profile, silent, loud, whatever. I'll leave pressing the, hello, pressing the volume buttons on the side doesn't let you access those. Just doesn't do anything. And here's our notifications bar. You get to see all our notifications in one place. You got messages, calendar, social feeds, MySpace, Facebook, you know, all those right there. That's pretty nice. Over here is a search. Hello. And it brings up a keyboard so we can search for stuff. And that does pretty nicely. And down here is our little mystery meet icon which is our application tray so I can also drag it and if I want to resize it and put it down like that maybe I want two rows and oddly this isn't scrollable down there you have to bring it all the way up in order to make it scrollable see that if I go to the side I can make some favorites. There's my media section. Yeah, that resize it. There's our downloads and frequent apps. Here's a weird bug. If I do if I do this, and I go off, get stuck there. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. <clears throat> so let's go back to all. And let's check out some of our programs. What do we have? Browser, regular stuff, visual voicemail, calendar, social feeds. This is a new thing. So this is like, it combines MySpace and Facebook updates and Twitter updates all into one big list. So you see little MySpace icons for those and Facebook icons for those. So that's kinda cool. You got your MySpace menu, you can filter them. And we have App World or you can download new apps. The AT&T App Center just goes to a web page. You gotta agree. Or maybe it will download something. Yeah, there we are. We have to install that. I don't feel like doing that. Let's go back. Enter. It does come with Facebook. If it'll open. There we go. Twitter. Currently unavailable. That works pretty good. Usually. MySpace, it comes with it as well, of course. We got all of them. Comes with some instant messaging apps. Windows Live, Yahoo Messenger, Google Talk, AOL. That's good to have. Applications, let's see what's in here. Just regular things. Mobile banking, we got documents to go. 
light versions, I guess. Yes. Premium version you have to pay for. Here's some games. You got Sonic 2, Bejeweled, Brick Breaker, and Word Mole. CNN, these are some web pages that are just application icons. Well, no, it isn't. We gotta download this one. Shortcuts to download those programs. Which is good, I guess, because it doesn't clog up bloatware. And that's about it for the programs. If I hold the Blackberry button, we get to uh, our task manager. And, uh, uh, we're frozen. That's a pretty uh, good bug for uh, freezing up your Blackberry. You uh, tap on the Twitter icon, the second Twitter icon, and none of my buttons work. See, we're frozen. But I can go to the phone. Still my buttons don't work. And I can end call. And now we're back. So another thing I like is the, uh, the universal search is really good. So I can type something. I type goo. And it's going to search. Let's see something in email setup, Blackberry Messenger, MySpace, there's three things. And it brings up Google Talks, that's a possible match. And I can even search Google for Goo. So those are really nice. Browser has multi-touch. Works okay, but there's no flash support. And it can be kind of slow. If I zoom in, doesn't always rewrap. Only if I, only if you double tap, that'll fit to the screen size. This BlackBerry menu, I really hate because you can't see everything at once. You got tons of things to scroll through here. It's you know mystery meat. You don't see that there's a menu there. You don't see that there's other options here. So that's kind of a pain, but I guess that's BlackBerry for you. Okay. What else have we got? Media, let's see what this is about. Pretty nice pictures viewer. Can zoom. Not bad. Again, mystery meat. What do these buttons mean? I don't know. They don't tell me. Oh, if I hold on it, it'll tell me. No, nope, nope. Maybe if I use this. Nope, can't access them from the pointer. Oh, sometimes a tooltip comes up. Not there. Oh. Anyway, not very user friendly. Videos. There's one it comes with. Not bad. Say I love what I do. Say. Say I love. Still low resolution screen, so you get what you get. I'll get out of here. Podcast. This is a good program. You can get your video podcast down over here. Get out of here. I 
Hello? I'm going back, but it's not going back. There we go. These are podcasts you can get. Again, more mystery meat icons. What does that mean? Sometimes it shows a tooltip. Alright, well, there we go. Uh, don't understand why that only happens sometimes. What else do we have? YouTube is just a link to mobile YouTube. Just the regular mobile site. We also have Mobi TV, which is good. But it's not preloaded, you gotta uh, download it. Snap. More shortcuts to applications that you have to download. Same for Slacker Radio. So I guess it's good that it comes with not very much, but a lot of shortcuts to programs that you can download, so you don't have to use up all your memory on bundled programs. Prime time to go, another one you have to download. So there we go. That's uh, what we get with the BlackBerry Torch and BlackBerry 6. That's it for now.